hello friends we are still not employed by fang company so let's not stop lead coding till we get there today we are going to work upon a lead code medium problem container with most water which in my opinion should be a lead code easy problem and not a medium problem as we can see it's a really popular problem and once we know the solution we would know that it's pretty simple to solve let's understand the problem statement we are given an input array of height uh, with the length n where every single value in the array height if we plot if we were to plot it on a graph the graph would look something like this for this given example suppose we are given a graph like this the biggest container we can create in this given input graph would be something like this between the second element and fifth element where we can fill out the most water so we need to calculate the biggest area possible from the given heights so the solution lies on how we calculate how can we calculate the area between any two values and we know that uh, the mathematical formulation to calculate area is actually length by width so how can we calculate the length between any two entries we can calculate the length based on their given values so suppose if you want to calculate the area between these two entities the length would be this is at second position this is at seventh position so in this scenario the length would be 5 and the width would be the minimum height out of given these two values so in this scenario since both of them have has the value 8 we can consider the width as 8 and if we were to calculate the area between for this portion of the given input array the area would be 40 so considering this logic let's see what are the different approaches we can take to calculate the container with most water the first approach is brute force approach where for every single value that we are given in the input array we can start making the pairs and start calculating area for every single one of them we can take the area from first value to second element which would be this portion next we would calculate the way the area from first to this third uh, up until third element and the entire area would become this and so on and so forth we will keep doing it for every single value and once we are done with the first element we would repeat the same process from second element towards all the way to the end and eventually we would find an area that is the maximum and we would we can just simply return that value but the problem with this approach is that the time complexity is big o of n square which is really bad and uh, let's see what the optimal solution can be okay so now we have created a graph that is uh, what we are given in the above example and we are going to see that how can we solve this problem efficiently so we are going to use a two pointer system, uh, two pointer solution and we would have a pointer at the beginning of an array and we would name it as left pointer and we would have a pointer at the end of an array which is the right pointer so basically we need we are concerned with two parameters our first one is length and second one is width length we can calculate by calculating the value r minus l and this would be our length and we need to calculate the width so for the value of width whatever the value of left we have in the given array and whatever value the right we have in the given array we are going to choose the minimum value out of both of them and the reason we are going to choose the minimum value is because now say for an example the left is over here and the right is at value number 5 so the maximum amount of water we can fill is actually only until this area because the value of left is only up until this much height and if we try to overextend the water the water would simply fill out and we won't be able to fill in more water so that is why for the width we are going to consider the minimum value of right and left and once we do that we will calculate the area every single time and whatever the maximum value of area we can find while we iterate the left on this side or right on this side we would simply calculate that 
also note one thing that while calculating the value of left and right we are going to update the values based on the current height we have so we will we will do it by an example on what on how we will update the values of left and right so let's start iterating over this given graph and uh, we will start updating the values so here are the parameters that we would be concerned with we have left we have right we have the length we have the width and in order to make our calculations we need to calculate the area that is the multiplication of length and width and we need to keep track of maximum area possible so let's iterate over the array with the given example so initially the left would be at zeroth position and right would be at the length of an array which is 8 the length we would have is actually right minus l which is 8 and the width maximum possible width we have on in this scenario for this given uh, left and right values is actually 1 which is the minimum of both of them and the maximum area we can cover would be this much for this scenario so width would be 1 and maximum area we can calculate as 8 and the maximum area currently is still 8 because we don't have any other area now after the first iteration we need to decide that which way we want to move forward so in this given scenario the value of right is 7 which is bigger than whatever the value of left we have so it is in our interest to keep the area 7 because the height of the right L, uh, pointer is actually greater than the height of the left element so we would update the value of uh, left in this case and we would update the left to move one step for forward and see uh, what and then do the calculation again this would become our new left and right will remain same the new values would be left would become 1 right would still be at 8 so the length would be 7 and the width would be uh, lesser values of left and right so the current value of left is 8 and the current value of right is 7 so we are going to use the value 7 as our width based on this we can calculate our area so area would be 49 and this area is greater than whatever the max area we have so we are going to update our maximum area to 49 and now because we found out that the value of left is greater than the value of right so now in this it now for the next iteration we are going to update the value of right to move one step on the left side and we would decrease the value of right so the new values would be left would still be one right where right value would be shifted So right would be 7 the length would be 6 and the width would be the lesser value of these two so 3 so current area for this iteration is going to be 18 which is less than our max area so we don't need to update that and uh, the current value of i uh, r is actually lesser than the value of left so we will again update the value of right So now left is still at 1, the value of right is at 6, the length we can get is 5 and the maximum possible width in this scenario would be 8 because notice the values of both left and right is 8 so this is the maximum width we can achieve. So area we, are, we will calculate as 40 which is still less than whatever the maximum area we have so we will not update it. If we keep moving forward. In this fashion eventually we would reach a scenario where the value of left would actually become greater than value of right and whenever this happens we would simply terminate the loop and whatever the value of maximum we have stored we would just simply return it as our response and in this case this is the maximum possible value we would be able to achieve so we can simply return 49 and this solution works pretty neatly for any given input Let's calculate the time and space complexity for this problem. 
so the time complexity for our solution would be big o of n because we are completing everything in just one single iteration so we don't need to worry about things and the space complexity would also be a uh, constant time space complexity because we are not using uh, apart from uh, using some constant variables we are not creating any new data structure to store our values so this would be a pretty efficient solution and which is which is a much better improvement than our uh, brute force approach now let's move on towards coding we will start our program by creating three variables um, one to calculate the maximum area, one to calculate the left pointer and the and one to calculate the right pointer. We will initialize max with zero and left will also be zero and right would be the length of an array minus one. Inside the loop we will calculate our width and length. So width would be the minimum value out of uh, left and right and length would be right minus left. And now we will calculate that whether the current area is our maximum area And now we put up the condition that whether we need to update the left pointer or right pointer. So if left is less than right, we update the left pointer. Else we update the right pointer. At the end of the loop, uh, max should have our maximum area. So we can simply return max. Now let's try to run this code. Looks like our code works uh, fine. Uh, let's try to submit it. And yeah, our submission works perfectly fine. And uh, hope you like the video. Let me know what kind of problems you want me to do next. And uh, yeah, I'll do that. Thank you.